Hey guys, in today's video, I'm just going to show you how we're going to be refinishing our floor with tongue oil. We installed the floor this summer when we built the house and we put tongue oil on it, three coats. And the biggest reason why we're going back, we already have to put a couple more coats of tongue oil on is because we put tamarack down, which is a soft wood floor, and a lot of pitch came out of the wood through the winter. So I'll show you guys in a clip a little bit of what that looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and sand down the floor, sand off the pitch, clean it up. So we're going to do five coats. That's going to take five days. We're going to put one coat on, let it sit for a half hour, wipe it off, let the floor stay overnight for 24 hours. And then the next night when I get home from work, I'll go ahead and I'll reapply another coat. And I'll do that for five nights in a row. Um, tongue oil is nice. It's a little bit more maintenance to it, but you can, if you get a nick in the floor or a dent, you can just fix that one spot. You don't got to sand down the whole floor. And over time, the floor actually ages and you get the more of the patina look with the floor than you do with just the varnish. So I'm going to take you guys along right now and sh show you how we do it. All those little black spots right there is the pitch in the floor that came out throughout the winter. The floor dry more. The wood was kiln dried, but we got a lot of that still. So. We're going to go ahead and sand it down with an orbital sander. I'm just going to be using 3M 180 grit sandpaper on my DeWalt orbital. really can't see it that good. You can see that the pitch marks are gone and any of the other marks on the floor I was able to sand off. It took a probably 60 seconds worth of sanding with the 180 grit to get rid of it. So you guys can see that it didn't take very long to sand off the pitch and any marks on the floor with 180 grit. And we'll go over it again with probably three coats of oil. One coat of oil per night. It takes a little while to dry but it's natural. It's got a more of a nutty smell, it doesn't stink the house up. The biggest reason why we went with the oil finish for the floor is it's natural. It's not harmful to anybody, it's like a food grade oil. The floor ages over time. If you get a ding or you get a mess on the floor, worst case scenario, you gotta sand it off and re-oil it. You can just do a spot, you don't gotta do the whole floor. I'm gonna be redoing the whole bathroom floor because this is a high traffic area, so it's taking it kinda hard over the winter. I'm probably going to do between three to five coats to top it off and get it ready for summertime, but we can do it every year, we can do it every other year. I'm sure over time it's going to get better and better and better, and it really doesn't take that long. I like it because you can actually maintain it, and you don't have to get a big sand stripper in or hire a professional to redo your floor for you. So I'll take you guys along when I re-oil it in a few minutes. Hey guys, now that I sanded the floor, with the 180 grit sand paper, I was able to get watermarks off or stains or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my tongue oil. I'm going to mix it 50-50 with mineral spirits. I use 100% pure, pure tongue oil. The brand I've been using is uh, Milk Paint. Had really good luck with it. You want to mix the tongue oil at least 50-50 with mineral spirits. The reason why you do that is you want the wood to draw down the tongue oil into it. You don't want it just sitting on the top of the surface and getting a layer. You actually want the wood to absorb the oil. And that's why I said throughout time and over the years, your floor is actually going to age and it's going to become more durable over the time. Using this method of finishing your floor, it's going to take more maintenance and stuff to maintain it and to get it to the good luster of a good aged well looking floor but you can also maintain it it's not just like it's a varnish on the floor and you gotta strip it all down if you get a chip or a nick in it so you can just touch up one spot so I'm just gonna take you along and I'm gonna show you how I apply it and one good tip too is this stuff is highly flammable so when you're done using your rags you either don't want to burn them or you're going to want to keep them in a sealed lid bucket. You want to put them in a bucket with a sealed lid on it. 
until you have time to get rid of them and throw them away because they will spontaneously combust. If they're stacked on top of each other, they make heat and then after a while they will start on fire. So it's something definitely to be aware about. Now I just wear rubber gloves when I'm doing this. I use a mixing cup that has ounces on the side so I now put 12 ounces in, 10 ounces in and do the same with the mineral spirits. You're going to want two clean dry rags. I found that the t-shirt material ones work best because they don't leave any lint behind. And then you can either, if you got a big surface, when I was doing the whole house and doing the whole floor, I was mopping it on, letting it sit, and then I'd go back around and dry it off. But I'm just doing my bathroom and it's smaller, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the rag. And then just rub it on the floor, generously. And then I'll let it sit. I do the whole floor, I'll let it sit. If I find any spots where it's absorbing it really good, I'll go back and I'll reapply it. It's really easy to, to apply, anybody can do it. They recommend leaving it for about a half hour and then wiping it off and letting it sit for 24 hours and then doing another coat. So if you're doing a lot of coats, it can take a while. I'm going to do hopefully five coats. So it'll take me five days to do it, but I'll just do it one coat a night after work. The oil does stain your clothes and it doesn't come out. So, definitely make sure you're wearing work clothes. It does have an odor to it, but it's not obnoxious. And it's got a real nutty smell to it. It's not like a paint smell or anything, so you will smell it when you come in and out of your house. You gotta go, oh, I. I can smell something, but it's not like it's a polyurethane where it's obnoxious and drive you out of the house. And that's all there really is to it. You just put a good liberal coat on with a rag, let it sit for about a half hour, and in that time if you see any spots that are really absorbing the oil, go ahead and go back, put some more on it, and then after the half hour is up, go ahead and rub it off with another rag. So now you just want to wipe the floor until all the wet marks are gone. Just want to keep rubbing it, and once you're done rubbing it and getting it all off, you just want to go around and see if you see any spots you missed or areas in the cracks where the oil is coming back up. Sometimes in the joints, when it sits a few minutes, you can see a line of the oil weeping back out of the joint. Now I'm just gonna repeat this process for the next four nights. You can walk on it. <clears throat> you can walk on it. I just recommend walking on it with bare feet or with socks. Definitely, I would do bare feet over socks if you can. If you don't want to, then socks. Don't use shoes, and you don't want to wear shoes on it for probably almost a month. Believe it or not, it'll actually take the rubber mark off your shoe, and it'll leave an imprint on the floor. The floor takes a while to dry. Well guys, I hope that video was helpful. When you're finishing or refinishing a floor with tongue oil, it's pretty much the same. If you're refinishing, you just want to go around and lightly sand the floor. You're not trying to remove the tongue oil. You just want to get up any dirt. For me, the biggest thing is I had the pitch from the tamarack flooring coming through. So I wanted to sand that all off, get up any dirty spots, and put another coat on. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. 
If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future videos. You can go check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And yeah, even the rags just wiping off the floor with the oil. They might not be saturated with oil, but you don't want to just throw them or leave them in a pile. Either. So thanks for watching. And like I say always, we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.